we are just getting ready to leave Tin Pockery. And we found this fabulous little completely flat campsite just nestled in the rocks here. Um, yeah, I'm not entirely sure where we're going. It's, I think it's up that big glacier we can see there. I'm not, I haven't looked at the map yet. We camped uh, separate to Craig and Gilly. They hiked on to where uh, the campsite is proper. We found this little spot here and uh, it's, a, it's almost a kilometer to, to where they camped. So we decided to just camp here because we were both exhausted. Um, but we're gonna meet them at seven. It's now about six, so we're just packing up the tent. And we're going to wander down there. It's about half an hour walk to where they are. Uh, it was pouring with rain all night, but up there we can see look at that blue sky. So um, optimistic that it's going to continue uh, for the rest of the day. But uh, the realist in me thinks it's going to be miserable again. So we've made it to Tillman's Pass High Camp. Today was um, a long, grueling day, mostly up a glacier. Um, we uh, didn't make it any easier for ourselves by um, not taking the ideal route. We should have been on the right-hand side of it. We were on the left-hand side, which meant we were actually sort of hiking up the glacier for much of it rather than along the moraine which would have been a lot nicer and then we decided that um, we thought there probably wouldn't be any water at this campsite so we filled up all our water bottles at, uh, at a lake down halfway along the glacier and oh, I was carrying uh, probably over 20 kilos on my back for the last three hours and as you can see, it's not particularly nice terrain to be hiking along. Nor particularly nice is at this campsite we found. Matthew's uh, leveling it with her ice axe there. I'm gonna go and give her a hand. Um, but yeah, it's taken us nine hours. The, uh, the guidebook says it should take four and a half. So um, we haven't been making particularly good time. But um, yeah, we are at the foot of Tillman's Pass. You would be able to see it up there if it wasn't for this uh, dratted mist. We had some really good views of it earlier when it all cleared. Um, but uh, it's sort of um, come in again. Right, I'm gonna help Matty with this, get the tent set up, have some food and fall straight to sleep, I think. What a day, again.